What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. I want to make a quick video on the referral diver process. I want to talk about what it actually is and how it works. And the reason I wanted to do that is I just spent the weekend helping certify 20 open water students from UNCC, which is a pretty good size college here in our area. And we actually partnered up with a dive shop out of Tennessee to do this. Uh, we partnered up with the Scuba Shack, and Ken, the owner there, was a super awesome guy, uh, great instructor as well. And I'll put all his information down in the description as well, so you can definitely check him out if you're in that Tennessee area. But we partnered up with him because we had 20 open water students who did a college-based course. Uh, however, a lot of times you don't actually get certified in a school environment like that. You have to go out and do some other type of checkout dives with a different instructor than what you typically would throughout uh, your college experience. And so a lot of times these students will get referred to another instructor, and this is actually more common than a lot of people realize, especially in northern dive shops in the northern part of the United States. Uh, what happens is, is you'll do your training there at the shop, you'll do all your classroom, all your pool training, and then of course you'll be referred to an instructor in the south area where it's a little bit warmer, clear water, and that's who you'll actually finish up your checkout dives with. Well, we actually do it in reverse as well. We have a lot of people who will do a, a resort type course down south, maybe on vacation, and they'll do all their classroom and pool work, but whenever they get back home, we take on their paperwork and we do a referral for them. So we ended up doing their checkout dives. And that's kind of what we did this weekend. The students learned through the college-based course, and then of course, they were referred to an instructor out of Tennessee, and then of course, he referred them to us as well. And of course, all we did was just partner up with him to do the checkout dives. So I wanna kind of take you through that referral process and how it works. Of course, you do all your training, which is your academic training and your pool work with one instructor. And then of course, he's gonna give you paperwork to take to your referral. Now, your referral instructor is gonna be the ones actually doing the checkout dives, doing your evaluations. And to start that, of course, there's gonna be a fee. You're gonna to have to pay a referral fee to your instructor. Now, once that takes place, you're gonna to have to do a quick review because that instructor, his job during the checkout dives is to evaluate you, to make sure that you can do the skills that you were taught during in your program and also to make sure that you retain the information that you learned during the academic portion. So he's going to do a quick review with you, maybe even issue an, a secondary test if you will, and then he's going to take you out to do your checkout dives or your evaluations. And during that process, he's actually going to test you on your math skills, your emergency air ascents, and things that you learned during the pool he's actually going to do as well. But one of the key things that we have to look out for as referral instructors is to make sure that you, you wasn't shortchanged if you would during your course. So there might be an evaluation process. You may have to do a new swim test or you may have to go through a short evaluation just to make sure you know how to put your gear together and things like that. You may even be required to go through another confined water session as well. So those are kind of the referral processes, how it works. Now, the universal referral agency to agency has actually changed. It's not what it used to be. So you can still learn from one agency and refer to another agency to do your checkout dives, but it's a little bit more lengthy process versus just staying with a particular agency with this instructor and then referring to an instructor from the exact same agency. So you can still do it the same way, but if you're crossing agencies during that referral process, it's a little bit more difficult, uh, a lot more paperwork involved, and usually a lot more evaluations, if you will. But guys, I just wanted to make a quick video on the referral process, how it worked. I know a lot of divers up north, they get trained from their home dive shop, but yet they go down south to do their checkout dives, and it's actually more common than not. Uh, and like I said, we actually take referrals from down south where people will actually do all their training during vacation, but they don't have the time to actually go out on a boat to do their checkout dives so whenever they come back to our area uh, after their vacation of course we take them out and do their checkout dives but guys if you got any questions on the referral process just simply put it down in the comment section below and i'll try to answer it the best i can uh, and definitely check out the scuba shack as well like i said i'll put all their information down there as well definitely check them out if you're in the tennessee area uh, if you go by and you see ken tell him i sent you ken's a super nice guy and an awesome instructor and it was a lot of fun working with him uh, throughout this referral process as well. But guys, if you like this video, simply smash that like button for me and definitely share it. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.
Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.